The debate over gun control is picking up momentum in the days since the tragic school shooting. Part of that discussion was led by Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline on Capitol Hill today as shooting survivors and families of victims visited with members of Congress. Today calling for stricter gun laws. Iowa to Sue's reporter Jennifer Mobilia joins us now live with that part of the story. Well, Mike and Susan, in the days since the tragic shooting, most lawmakers agree it's time for a meaningful conversation about guns and gun rights. And Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline was out in front of that conversation today in Washington. And they don't Families of the victims came to Capitol Hill to remember their loved ones and to ask Congress for tougher gun restrictions. Dan Gross's brother was shot at the Empire State Building in 1997. 40% of gun sales take place without a background check. No questions asked. So felons, the dangerously mentally ill, and domestic abusers can easily get guns. Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline said at today's meeting, unfortunately, what happened in Newtown is only the most recent of several mass killings involving guns. But this incident is especially horrific because it involved the slaughter of 20 innocent children. I hope that it will mark a turning point in the debate over common sense gun safety laws. Several pro-gun lawmakers have come forward since Friday saying it's time to put gun control back on the table. Indiana's newly elected congressman says lawmakers may get into the debate, but that gun bans are not the answer. They take away freedom for law-abiding folks and they don't take away the, the uh, guns from those who end up being the eventual perpetrators. Now, within the last hour, the National Rifle Association has broken its self-imposed four-day media blackout, releasing a brief statement saying in part that the group is, quote, shocked, saddened, and heartbroken by the news of the horrific and senseless murders. The NRA also said they wanted to give families time to mourn before making its first public statements. The organization has also pledged to make sure something like this never happens again. They have scheduled a news conference for Friday. I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.